Busy, busy, busy. Uh, Jeremy here, parksbreakers.com. Today's kind of been an overall video of some uh, Jeeps that we have. We've had requests on the past few weeks and I just haven't had a lot of time. So I appreciate all your patience. Um, been doing this for 18 years and patience goes a long way, as I've learned. Um, a little bit older now, a little colder out. Hurts the bones a little bit more, so. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm uh, doing several videos today, and like I said, they're just for product videos. Uh, mainly not product, maybe over overview videos. This one happens to be on this Wagoneer we have. 76 Wagoneer. Um, if you're needing a cab, um, tub, body, whatever you want to call it, uh, this would be a viable option. It's actually really clean. Um, we live in Colorado. People have a big misnomer about our state. It is changing because of the people that are moving here. Not that anything against them, but the places they're coming from and the rust they're bringing. However, we don't use salt on the road. So if you can find something out of Colorado that is um, been in Colorado its entire life, usually, not always, but usually they'll be rust free. We use mag chloride to melt the melt the roads and therefore our roads get closed down quite a bit more often than the east coast roads but we don't have rust so uh got a wagoneer here now it's down on its uh tub there is some uh six by sixes underneath it protecting the the side skirts from collapsing so there's not weight down on it um and it's got a couple dings on it obviously the doors we usually part these things out to the nuts and bolts just like anything else um but i would be interested or, or open to if somebody needed uh, what you see left or most of what you see left um, we can work you out a deal on it i have an east coast run coming up part of the reason i'm doing a lot of videos right now as well that's in a month this one would take up a ton of space it would be a, a delivery fee but it would be cheaper uh for me to deliver it than i than, a, than an actual transporter of some kind i assure you that the only issue with this one is that you would have to have a forklift or some way to unload it i do have a big forklift i actually have a couple big ones so we can get it up on the trailer but we'd have to get a way to get it off so uh, let me show it to you and see if it's something you guys somebody out there might be interested in or at least some pieces on it um this cab will not be cut at this point um unless somebody pays a hefty price for a section of it uh, because it is clean and I don't like to cut clean bodies, uh, especially on stuff that they don't make anymore or it's super hard to get. Um, so that, just saying that, okay, if there's something that isn't, like I said, if there's a, if you make an offer that we can't refuse, then we will we will definitely entertain it um, and whatnot. So roof, start with that, excellent roof, no rust in it, no uh, hail damage. I don't even see any dings. I'm sure there's a couple of small ones, but uh, nothing I can really see there. We can go over that closer if it's something that appeals to you. Uh, rain guards here. These love to rust out. They trap uh, stuff in them. These ones are clean. They got a little flaking uh, from the paint and the and mainly the silicone in them, but nothing rusty, no rot, anything like that. Um, doors are pretty clean as well. Obviously, it's got some trim panels missing on it. There's some dings on this driver door, uh, but solid. I've looked on the seals. Uh, well, the door seals you can see, um, they're clean as well. Okay, a little bit of moisture from the rain, but this is all just mud here. You can see it come right off okay nice paint underneath um, obviously we'd want to pull stuff like this just to double check and we would do that if somebody's interested in this tub um, okay floors it's got a floor mat in it I'm sure rat dust crap I'm breathing right now anyway um, floors are solid okay got a little bit of uh, you know surface maybe but no scaling no loss of material matter of fact this is actually that's not even the floor I'm looking at so let's see we got some insulation going on here probably some asbestos yeah look at that super nice floor let's see if we find any holes in this I bet there's none so, obviously if you're buying a Jeep the seller's probably not going to let you do this so yeah. be careful when you buy oh goodness gracious I need a mask for this all right um but uh you know discoloration right maybe a little bit of surface material but even after that that's just kind of dirt that's just coming right off with nice paint underneath it so it's got the dash in it it's got a tilt calm automatic you know it's okay i mean it's nice and tight really nice and tight it's just great so that means the tilt mechanism nice yeah it works great little indicator thing is what just fell off there kind of common unfortunately uh it looks like it, it was acid dipped on the ceiling that's obviously not the case but uh something definitely got it almost looks like a fire of something but there's no burns in it so i'm not entirely sure why that roof like that did that um 
I would say our P our 5,000 PSI hot seat would probably bring most of that off. But the roof is clean, but it needs a bath or it needs a spray or it needs a, you know, whatever you do to these things. I've actually never seen that before. So um, if you're familiar with Wagoneers, might be something you're more familiar with. Okay. Interior door panels are in these. Uh, window cranks and windows do roll up and down. Okay. Doors open and close like I showed you. So much crap sitting in the pull out. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Oh, like a tool. Okay, like it should. There one. Okay, same thing. And uh, obviously, with something like this, um, I'm doing an overall. This is, I'd still consider this pre dismantle. Pre dismantle, what that means for us is we lock it into what we think it's worth. Um, and then, uh, as long as we disclose what we think is there, uh, get a deposit and we'll finish stripping it to whatever point you want it stripped in. Obviously there's some rust in this lower rocker here. Okay, there's the extent of that. Um, take into account that kind of stuff. And then uh, <clears throat> if something comes up, we'll cancel it out. Not worry about it. Hang on a second, I got a phone call coming in. Jeeps Unlimited, how can I help you? I don't have a, a Liberty that I knew right now. Um, AC, is that the climate control inside? I I do have a Liberty in, it's an 05, but I think they changed those in those years. Um, I, I can definitely check and get back with you here in a few minutes. I'm wrapping up with a couple things. Okay, is this, uh, I think you guys came up as ASAP. Okay, cool. Yeah, give me just a few minutes. I'll walk up there and see if there's an interchange that goes up to that year. Uh-huh, thank you. All right, so front header grill is still intact. Pretty good shape. Fenders, inner fenders are clean. No rust there. Heater box is obviously in it. Um, okay, so that pretty much tells you everything you need to know probably about that one other than the bottom which you can't see right now but the bottom i'm sure you is as clean as the top that front fender's toast folded in so okay questions comments concerns 303-666-9020 parksbreakers.com and don't think i'm selling it whole because i'm not um i would if you're uh if you're interested in that we can definitely talk about that um but uh just like anything in this yard, it might likely will get parted down the nuts and bolts. So if you need something on it, give us a hauler. I can get you priced out on it. Uh, glass is all intact. I don't know if the rear glass is in this one or not. Let me take a look. Yeah. No, let me, let's see. The glass in it. It does not look like the rear glass is in it. And it looks like the... Yeah, there you go. No glass. But I think I might have glass for one of these, actually. So if you need glass, just let me know. Okay, 303-666-9020, partsbreakers.com, P-A-R-T-S-B-R-E-A-K-E-R-S.com. You can find most things we have on our website, Wagoneer Parts. You're not going to find a lot of on there. So if you need a Wagoneer Parts, give us a holler. I'm not. I'm pretty low on WAG stuff right now. Uh, I don't get them in all that often. But I do know we're about 8 of the 84 to 91 are sitting. Uh, unfortunately, they're not parting them very quickly, um, so it might be one of those things that I have to work out on a different angle, um, but we can go from there, okay? Appreciate all the time, and uh, seven acres out here, Grand Junction, Colorado, 20 minutes off the Utah border, 90 minutes from Moab, four hours from Denver, kind of give you a reference of where we're sitting, okay? We got a lower yard and upper yard, and uh, we specialize in rust-free OEM Jeep parts um, since 1984. It's the year I was actually born, and uh, I've been doing this myself for 18 years, so uh, quite a while. All right, thank you very much.